Fellas, drop everything because HDR prices on monitors are getting absolutely absurdly low. That's right, now is the time to pull the trigger on that OLED or mini LED monitor as they are priced so much lower than what they originally launched at that it's absolutely blowing my mind. I'm about to bust one out, so let's go ahead and start taking a look at these monitors from lowest price to highest price. And by the way, there will be Amazon affiliate links to every single one of these monitors I mentioned in the description below. So for your convenience and my benefit, be sure to use those links. But starting off with the most affordable option, this one I have indeed reviewed. It is a 27 inch 1440p 165 hertz mini LED monitor. Now this one comes with 576 local dimming zones, so not quite as many as the 32 inch 4K models. However, overall, while there is some blooming, it does present a pretty good HDR experience, especially in bright environments especially for the price because there are two coupons available for this thing right now and it's also 11 percent off which brings the well initial launch price of 450 dollars roughly all the way down to wait for it 293 dollars if you have been on the edge of deciding whether or not you want to get into hdr this is the monitor to buy again it's not going to be perfect you're probably going to want to disable hdr when just generally using Windows, but my God, $293, that is really, really good for the price. So yes, go, but don't even wait. Just go buy this thing. I reviewed it. It is pretty good. Link in the description below. But now let's go ahead and move on to a 4K option. By the way, both of these monitors are 27 inches from KTC. Now this one that we're looking at here is a 4K mini LED monitor, HDR1000, which also the last one was HDR1000 certified as well. And yes, they do meet the requirements in my testing. I've also reviewed this monitor. This one's also pretty good, much like the last one. Now this one's 160 Hertz, but again, much like the last one, Yes, it is only 576 local dimming zones, so there will be noticeable blooming. However, again, for the price, what you're getting is a very bright HDR experience and the clarity is gonna be pretty good as well, considering that it uses a regular RGB layout. So if you're into the higher brightness and text clarity, this is a good option. And again, two different coupons here. I believe you might need to be a Prime member to get them both. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I'm seeing them right here. You get $150 off plus 10% off. And it originally came in at $700, bringing it all the way down to, again, wait for it, $495. That is such an insanely good price for a 27 inch 4K HDR 1000, 160 hertz monitor that again, this is a situation where I'm just gonna have to tell you, listen, I reviewed it, it is pretty good, it's not perfect, but my God, for that price, if you're on the edge and you'll want to get into more affordable 4K HDR, this is it. That price is insanely good. Similar technology not that long ago was $3,000. Now the next one is a similar product also from KTC. Basically everything here is the same, it's just a different storefront. And this one's a little bit more expensive coming in at $523. So a tiny price bump but if the last one sells out, which I imagine it probably will, well then here's an alternative for roughly 30 bucks more if you need it. Now, the next one I wanna look at guys here, another pretty good price on this time an OLED monitor. Now this one, I have seen it lower in the past, but it is still really good at its current price. I've also reviewed this one, it's also pretty good except for the brightest HDR mode continues to try and move it into a slightly bluish color tone. So if you want the brightest HDR mode, you're gonna have to kind of fight with it in terms of color tone every time you turn on your PC. So that can be annoying. You might just wanna either leave it in SDR or the slightly less bright HDR mode. Both of those don't have problems. So hopefully they'll get around to fixing the brightest mode, but this is a 1440p 240 Hertz OLED 
for? Well, it's saying that it was originally $800, but after a price cut and $60 coupon and 5% off, this actually brings it to $608. And overall, it's a pretty good monitor compared to the other monitors on the market, a good alternative if you're into, well, 240 Hertz OLED. Now, the next one here is actually a 32 inch mini LED from InnoCN this time, not KTC. And this one I've also reviewed, it's also pretty good. The only issue I've had with this one is that the full screen HDR 1000 that it can do does slowly dim to 600 nits in the brightest mode, which can be a little bit annoying, but otherwise this is a pretty dang good 32 inch 4K HDR 1000 monitor that I have highly recommended in the past. And it's gone down from 999.99 to 699.99, just under $700. If you want to get into 32 inch 4K 144 Hertz gaming, this is an excellent price once again. Now, we do have to talk about some other OLED monitors as here, actually over on Best Buy, this one is absolutely insane. You can get the Alienware AW3423DWF 34 inch Quantum Dot OLED gaming monitor. Now, I have not reviewed this specific one, but I have reviewed the 3423DW. They're very, very similar. The DW just has 10 Hertz more and the updating of firmware on that model is a little bit more difficult than this one. So this one's actually really, really good still. And at $778 for that glossy finish, which will make it look a lot more vibrant and clear than a matte alternative. I think this is an excellent value if you wanna get into ultra wide gaming HDR. This is going to be for the price, I think hands down the best entry option. Now let's talk about the, well, 4K 120 Hertz LG C3. I reviewed this one. It is very good. Now, a lot of people might think that this is obsolete in 2024, but I'm going to argue that it's not. And here's why now 120 Hertz. Yeah, sure. That's not necessarily my preferred refresh, right? I like 144 or better, but if you're okay with that, the C3 is going to be a lot cheaper than the C4, which will have 144. And it does retain the, in my opinion, best glossy finish on the market today. Not only is it midnight black in basically all lighting conditions, but it's also a glossy finish, meaning you're essentially getting the best of both worlds when it comes to the finish on this display. You get the clarity and vibrancy of gloss without the magenta tinting that Quantum Dot OLED suffers from. So this is honestly, I think still a good option. I just wish it was a little bit brighter and a little bit higher refresh rate. And then let's talk about the $900. By the way, that one was $897. This one's $900 for the 3423DW, just like the DWF, except for 10 Hertz more. And then I will have two alternatives to the LG C3. They're 138 Hertz based on, I think either the same or slightly brighter panel technology from KTC, 42 and 48 inch at 138 Hertz, basically the same except for, yes, it does have a matte coating. And then finally, the last one I wanna talk about is, this is legendary to me, honestly, because this is the OLED G9 G93 SC, non-smart feature version of the OLED G9. It is 240 Hertz Quantum Dot OLED Glossy, and this is a Quantum Dot OLED Gen 2 panel, which means you do get slightly better text rendering and hopefully as well. The jury's still out, but in theory, this should be able to be run for much longer without fear of burn-in. And this one can be had for just under $1,000 now, which is pretty insane for the quality of this panel you're getting if you do want a super ultra wide monitor. So there you have it guys. Yes, monitor prices right now for getting into HDR are the lowest they have ever been. The monitor market is finally healing. God, we've had years and years of schlock and it's finally starting to get better. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, LCD is entirely obsolete without the addition of mini LED. Mini LED is completely cannibalizing regular LCD at this point in time, $290. Why would you not just spend the extra, you know, 30, 40 bucks for mini LED at this point? I think over about 150 bucks LCD is now dead thanks to the significant price drops we're seeing on mini LED 
and OLED monitors. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.